And again, I'd like to thank everybody for coming today. And it, it's very interesting that, you know, every year you look up on the screen and you see another number. And it's, for me, at least a reminder of, of a vision that I, I guess I had some 13 and a half years ago, a vision that we now have 12 years of strong high school football competition. I'll tell you how old the event is, outside of the fact that I no longer have hair, but I was thinking about the very first year before the first event, we announced this at a building that no longer exists. So we've outlived the Gregory Center down on the Pete Rose Way, 2nd Street. And I think it's a testament, this event, not only going for 12 years, but getting seemingly stronger almost every year. It's really a testament to two things. One, the product, and the product is everybody who's in this room. The product is high school football in greater Cincinnati, northern Kentucky, and greater Dayton, which I'm proud to say is this year together for the very first time of the event. So you have to have a good product. We obviously have a product high school football-wise, I believe, is second to none. However, the product has to be supported by some strong sponsors. And I don't think you will find a group of sponsors any stronger than we've had committed to not just this event, but committed to their communities, committed to the people in this room and supporting the high school football programs. Sarah Lapham is here representing Skyline Chili, which has been our title partner from the very, very beginning. Also a couple gentlemen back here, John Schultes and Don Schroeder from the Dr. Pepper brand and Pepsi Americas, which has been a strong, strong supporter. And I can see that everybody enjoyed the product since there's really none left, which is a good thing. And Meyer as well. Again, without these people, I'd love for everybody in the room who's in this event to give a round of applause for those people. <laughs> Honestly, you know, when you look at, at putting this schedule together, and, and trust me when I say I don't, I don't get involved with all the chat rooms and all the bloggers. I, I was talking to Mike Dyer from the Enquirer, and he was just reading me a couple comments because I, he was saying, you know, why, why didn't you make the announcement until now? And, you know, how do you call it the Crosstown? And you got a team from here or there. I'm humored by some of that stuff. And, and I'm actually thinking about doing kind of maybe an online contest. So since we're getting into kind of social media, social networking, where we'll let one lucky fan maybe schedule the event in the next three years. What do you guys think? I, I, I'm open to that. No, but, but honestly, you know, the, the idea behind this event is simple. I believe we've got the best high school football anywhere. And this is, to me, a platform to showcase just how good it is. And this year, I'm excited for the very first time, we've got, I believe, the best teams from greater Cincinnati. We finally got Northern Kentucky. I don't want anybody to feel any Northern Kentucky exclusion the last couple of years. The, the schedules haven't coincided. And I still don't get in Northern Kentucky how you can play in a week zero. Somebody needs to explain that to me, but apparently you can. So we're happy to have not only Northern Kentucky teams, but some really good ones in the event. And this is, again, we, we started something last year in the greater Dayton area, and, and it's getting even bigger, and the interest up there was tremendous, so we're doing that again this year. So if I could just take a minute to run you through the schedule. We're doing something on Friday night we've never done before, and that is we've got a doubleheader right here at UC's Nippert Stadium. We've also got a doubleheader up at Welcome Stadium in Dayton. I'm calling it the West Side Special. I think I'm allowed to do that since I lived over there for many years and graduated from Colerain High School. And I know St. X, I realize you're probably more central, but go with me on the West. It's leaning that way, at least for theory. I think we've got a great game between LaSalle and Oak Hills to kick it off. That's going to start at 6 o'clock. And then we've got Colerain St. Xavier, which was a tremendous game down here last year. Won by Colerain 13-8 when St. X was coming off of its second state championship this decade, so I think that's that's a great night for all the West Siders, and I mean that affectionately because obviously the, the football support over there is very, very strong. We had an opportunity to get a couple great games on Friday night up at Welcome Stadium in Dayton, and we took that opportunity. Northmont, which is represented here today, they're a Division One regional finalist from last year, got a great program taking on Lakota West, which should be a tremendous game, followed by Huber Heights Wayne, Jay Benton again in the playoffs last year doing a great job up there against Princeton. I think some of the best players in the area will be in that doubleheader as well. So we got a couple great double dips on Friday night. And then one of the things we really tried to do is I tried to set it up to where if you were a fan of a certain collection of teams, 
you really have an opportunity to watch two games. And I think we managed to do that on Saturday where we've got a great Northern Kentucky doubleheader. Rarely do you get two games in a row where you've got a defending state champ and two state runners up. And that's pretty impressive. Beachwood, the Class A state champ from last year, was taking on Dixie Heights in our first game. And then two state runners up, Newport Central Catholic and Simon Kenton in the second game. And I'm also very happy to have some new schools in the event. You know, one of the designs of this, too, was to get some schools the opportunity to play on a big stage and a great stage like they have here at UC with Newport Stadium. And now I think our third game is a tremendous game. We've got Moeller which I know is expected a big year against Winton Woods, which has had a couple great years back-to-back, -back, and that should be a tremendous game. And I'd like to point out Troy Everhart, who's in the North-South game, coaching that today. I need more coaches like Troy Everhart. My schedule will be a little bit easier. This guy, Winton Woods, a Division II school, after taking on Moeller this year, will have played in four consecutive years the entire Greater Catholic League South Division, which is pretty impressive for somebody willing to do that and I only hope that some of the other Division One coaches will follow suit with that so we can uh, continue having some great games. That's a little hint for maybe some of you in the room. And then we've got a great game to kind of cap it all off. Elder, which had a great year last year, came in one win and winning another state title against the school, East St. Louis, Illinois, which actually is a defending Illinois 7A class state champion. And for those who ask, well, wait a minute now, you call this a local event, there's an out-of-area team, you are correct. There is. I have a little sign-up sheet out there on your way out for anybody who want to take it and pass it out for some teams who want to take on some of the teams that I have trouble scheduling every year. And I actually enjoy it as crazy as it sounds because at the end of the day, I think top to bottom, and I really mean this, when you look at the games we've got offered this year, I think this is depth-wise, I think this has the potential to be the best field we've ever had. I really do when you look at the games individually. And I'd just like to say again, thanks to everybody. This is about you guys. This isn't about me. Believe me, I'm on radio for a reason. I don't like the TV cameras, and you can ask my wife why, because I'm not really attractive. But the reality of it is, this is about you guys. And, and the cameras need to talk to the coaches and the ADs who continue to support it. Believe me, we're not done at 12 at all. I mean, I feel like this event today is as strong as it's ever been. And we're also going to have another announcement coming up in a couple weeks up in Dayton about something on Thursday night that will be big for the Dayton community. This is about the region. This is about Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky, and Dayton, where I feel like no question some of the best high school football is played in the country. Is Kerry in here? Kerry Combs. I'd like to point out Kerry Combs and thank Brian. Brian's not here, is Kerry? No. I know we've got a camp going on, but I'd like to... Thank Kerry, Brian Kelly, the football coach here at UC, Mike Thomas, the director of athletics. Where's Willie? Willie in here? Scott Wilhoy, here he is, and his staff do a great job because they make our lives hopefully all a lot better, and it's a great venue to play, and, and we plan on continuing to play here as long as it'll happen. So thanks again to everybody for coming out today. We'll be in contact with you uh, repeatedly between now and when we kick things off in late August, but don't hesitate to ask, I'd like to thank my lovely wife, Lori, who continues to work on this event as well and make things a lot easier and, and appreciate her support in all this. Doug Lewis will be working with me. We'll be talking to Doug at a fine table of uh, students here from NKU from the Sports Biz Program. They'll be working on the event as well. But seriously, thanks to everybody. Skyline Chili Meyer and Dr. Pepper, though, without those three. And let's have a hand for Tracy and her staff from the uh, Sword Out Town. Appreciate your great support, but seriously, thanks again, and uh, there's no reason why I think when you look up and you see that number 12, it'd be pretty cool to see that number be up to 20 some year, and, and that's exactly what we have every intention of doing. So thanks again to everybody for, for their support, and uh, we'll be talking to you if you need anything, you know where to get us, feel free to call, but thanks again, and uh, best of luck, continued success, have a nice summer, and we'll talk to you again uh, around kickoff night. Thanks.